So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now, once you're on this, make sure that it's been enabled for you. So right now, my one's disabled, so I'm gonna right click on it and I click on enable. Now, it does not say disabled anymore. Now it's been enabled. So make sure that your network adapter has been enabled. And now once you've done that, for the second step, you just want to take note of your network adapter name. My one's called Intel R Pro. Now once you take note of the name, you're gonna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna expand network adapters. You're gonna find that same network adapter. So for me, it's gonna be Intel R Pro on both of them. You're gonna double click on it. And then click on driver. And then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. Then you wanna go back and click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on every pick from a list. You want to install the one that you think is most applicable to your network adapter. This one's mine right here. I'm gonna click on next. And then I wanna install that. And now once you've installed that, you wanna go back to view network connections. You wanna click on your network adapter and then click on diagnose this connection. And if it finds anything here, it will fix it for you. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And I click on yes. Now once you're on this, you're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. And then you're gonna type in netsh space winsock space reset. And click on enter again. Now you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 